Hello and welcome to my devlog series. For those of you who are new, this is a real-time strategy game based on games like Stick War, Limbus Company, Battle Cats, and more. This week, I'm going to be focusing on adjusting the combat system and visuals, as well as creating a new unit. Today, I want to show you how the game works, or at least the general idea of it. Each team starts with a certain number of units on the field. Each unit has HP, speed, and range. The range determines how far away you can hit another target from. Right clicking the ground moves the unit based on its speed value. To attack an enemy, you drag one of the main three abilities over the enemy. Each ability costs core flux to use, which you gain over time, kind of like the battle cats when it costs money to summon units. However, enemies can also target your units too. When winding up an attack, you will see a clear red line that shows its target, and hovering over the enemy will show its attack. If you don't do anything before this loading bar fills, the enemy will attack your unit. However, if you do drag another skill to counteract theirs, this will cause them to clash. Basically, each unit will give some number based on their attack, and the higher number adds more to the bar. Whoever has the bar on their side at the end loses the clash, and the winner attacks. When a unit wins the clash, they gain Drive. Drive is used for the unit's RNG in this game. There's a lot more to this, but this is a good enough explanation for now. Let's move on. It's Sunday, and today my goal is to add more to the combat system. I just got back from some events and need to study for my midterm soon, but I'm gonna relax a bit and work on my game. First, I need to add a way to actually see how much damage a unit takes. Right now, all you see is the HP bar decreasing, but this doesn't really tell you much, other than the fact that he's dying. I created a text object and a script that allows this text object to be changed, and every time a unit is hit, this text object will spawn in with the damage number. Now, the player can see how much damage a unit deals and receives. However, the attack animations are kind of bland, in the sense that the enemy doesn't flinch or do anything other than change its sprite. To fix this, each time a unit is hit, I made it so they will vibrate. If the damage was a drive crit, the unit will vibrate more than usual. This shows more impact on hits and makes the game feel more lively in general. However, something I need to fix is that the unit only vibrates if it moves. So in the clips you see here, because the final hit doesn't move the enemy, the enemy doesn't vibrate. With a little bit more code, I changed it so only the sprite vibrates and not everything, so it makes reading the stats easier, and along with this change, with a little bit more code, I changed it so instead of the game object vibrating, only the sprite vibrates. This made reading the stats easier, and along with this change, the enemy now vibrates even if it doesn't move. I need to tweak the values of this vibration system a bit more, but I'm happy with the changes so far. It's getting pretty late, so I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll continue to tweak the system later. It's Monday, meaning I got a decent amount of classes today. I have my first exam on Wednesday, so I probably won't be doing much. However, today I went to add a new unit to my game, introducing the pistol. Yeah, real creative name, I know. This character has a pistol as a weapon. I need more unit ideas, so I'll be gladly taking any suggestions. Anything, please. And yeah, here's the sprite sheet. Some of you wanted to know the program I use for drawing, and it's called Sketchpad. It's pretty bad, but I've gotten used to it over the years drawing stick figures. But, honestly, I wouldn't recommend it, it's pretty bad. The pistol has three abilities, like every other unit. The first one will cost very little, just being a single shot. The second one is a combo where he slides and shoots the enemy before hitting the enemy with a grip. Finally, the last ability is where he jumps into the sky and shoots the enemy. I want to make an enemy once a week, and doing this allows me to implement your suggestions too. I take really anything, as long as it's not overpowered, just let me know. Discord, comments, anything. After adding in the abilities in this game, this is what they look like. I did a decent amount today, and I'm feeling kind of tired, so I'm gonna go study, then hit the sack, and continue tomorrow. I just got back to my dorm late today from studying and had to work on a bunch of homework, and I'm just gonna be tweaking a few things today. For starters, after playtesting this early version, I noticed that the gameplay was too fast-paced and not strategic enough. This was primarily due to the fact that enemies would target units too fast, meaning every enemy would target some of your units at the same time, 
and right after the clash, they'd instantly just retarget. This made it so all this made it so the gameplay was basically just spamming attacks and not really strategic moving around your units, etc. And I want this to be more strategy than spamming, so I increased the loading time for enemies. I'm gonna go study now, so I'll just continue the system tomorrow. Today, I went to work on active passives. In my game, active passives are small abilities units can use without clashing. For example, let's create the ninja's active passive, which I call Meditative Flow. After charging this ability for 15 seconds, he will give the entire team buffs. However, if this unit moves or is interrupted by an attack or a clash or anything, the active passive will cancel and you will need to restart it from the very beginning. After a lot of coding, it is now working in the game. Now I need to head over to my midterm, and I will continue later. I just finished my math midterm. It wasn't that bad, but I'm feeling too tired to work on this project, so I'm gonna go to sleep and continue it tomorrow. Today is Thursday. I have some more midterms in the following weeks I need to study for, so I probably won't be adding much today. This is the joys of college. Something I've wanted to add in for a while now is letting the UI pulse to the music. Originally, I also wanted it to tilt to the music too, but it became annoying after a while, so I just removed it. After a bit of tweaking, I made it so instead the camera pulses to the music, and I think it looks pretty nice. But now I gotta go to my lab, so I'll continue when I get back. Do you guys know those audio visualizers? Like the ones that have the bars that move up and down to the beat of this music? I wanted to add these in too, just for no reason. I think it looked pretty cool. After a couple of hours, I finished it and put them into the game. It adds a bit more to the visuals, which I like, but I'll keep tinkering with it because it's a bit distracting, but I think it's pretty nice. And finally, today's Friday. I often just edit the video on this day so I can get the video out by Saturday. Um, but thank you for watching. I really take in feedback and suggestions for this game really well. So if you want to help me, join my Discord. Let me know any suggestions, any feedback, any things to add. And like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.